The road to financial independence is a long and arduous one. And to be honest, I think many people that start out don't make it to the end. And what motivational tools are you using to get you there? Well, Sarah and I discovered a motivational aid that absolutely fired our journey to financial independence. And you know what? We've never seen anyone else use it. And we're gonna share that with you today with the hope that you can reach your dreams quicker too. We made this series of financial independence videos and shared our tools of how we got there in the hope that we can help you get on your journey too. Yeah, and if you're new here, we should tell you who we are. I'm Neil, this is Sarah, and we're an early retired couple that sold everything we own to travel the world for the next 10 years. And we share our thoughts on everything retirement, travel and money along the way. Today we are coming from a tiny little coastal town called Karali, which is on the southern coast of Turkey. We took a really steep but beautiful road down here and to be honest, we were a bit unsure whether our misfiring rental car is going to get us back up the winding road, back up over the mountains. Yeah, no, no <laughs> chance really. And in Karali, there is a local site and really the main reason why most people visit this cute little town. They call this Turkey's answer to Bali actually. And we're going to head up there now but it's not easy and neither of us are at our fittest at the moment and we both got good excuses for that. I hurt my foot a couple of months ago and to be honest it even hurts walking let alone working out but I am looking forward to getting back on those workouts very soon. My excuse? Well Sarah hurt her foot a couple of months ago and has been unable to work out. Result of that for me is she stopped badgering me to work out, so I'm lacking fitness as well, and really that's all Sarah's fault, certainly not mine. We're quite sure that our viewers in the US know about FIRE, financial independence, retire early, but for the rest of the world, there appears to be a lot less information on the subject. So let's start with telling you what it's about, then we'll tell you a basic approach how to get there. And once we've covered that, we're going to tell you what we did to make our journey much quicker, our secret sauce. So first of all, what is our definition of fire? Well, it's where somebody or a couple do the following. Prioritise savings and investments over brands and champagne. The other thing, educate themselves financially, become financially literate. I remember my mum saying to me when I was younger, a lot younger, you know, the price of everything and the value of nothing. Back then, I would say to her, I don't know what you mean. That doesn't make any sense. I know the price of everything. I know that what was value. Yeah, I get it. Next, they need to have a goal to be financially independent. That is to have saved enough money and have it invested to never have to work again. Yeah, and then finally, they need to put all of those building blocks together to build out a plan to get them to their goal on the date they define. In a minute, we'll break that information out into a bit more detail. But blimey, this walk is a bit more difficult than we thought. Come on, Neil. It's your fault for not pushing me. You, you, you took time off over the last couple of months. You're so selfish, Sarah. So we've just walked through the high level information that any early fiery would need to know, but what are the basics of fire? Well, we'll go through that now, but these are very much the what of fire, not necessarily the how of fire. If you want us to go through that in a future video, happily do so, we love talking about this stuff. You need to have saved enough money to fund the amount of retirement you expect to have. And we strongly recommend you overestimating this. That <laughs> is overestimating the amount of years you think you might live. Let's be positive about mm. such stuff, shall we? You need to build an investment strategy so that your money grows in retirement. Best case scenario is that your money grows and matures as you do. You need to have a defined outline of the kind of retirement you want and attribute the costs in order to have that. 
then in retirement you need to build out a strategy for the drawdown to ensure that your money is there for you and that you're working within the guide rails that you define for yourself. So that is the two go run primer to fire. So what about the special sauce that we spoke about at the start? Yeah. And this is something that really doesn't seem to be spoken about a huge amount in the whole fire community. And I think that this is why the attrition rate in fire is pretty high. It's very difficult to get numbers about this, but in anecdotal conversations with people, we know a lot of people fall off the wagon. And that thing is basically motivation. And the thing is, Sarah and I happened upon the most impressive <laughs> motivational aid that we could have imagined. And as I said at the start, we're the only people I think that do this. The problem is when you have such a large goal, if all you're doing is focusing on that, it's so easy to just fall off track. Take this walk, for example. If we didn't know that there was places along the way we could stop and admire this beautiful view, we would have possibly fallen off track by now. Yeah. Now, the good thing is, even though this track has got some big steps, <laughs> come on, Sarah, we can do it. They're big steps for it's me. It's a short hike. <laughs> it's only a couple of hours, so it's easy to stay motivated. But the fire journey, well, that's many years, isn't it? That's very difficult to stay motivated for something like that. Right, we're going to get to the top of this hike, if it kills us, <laughs> and then at the top, we're going to take you through our special source. Why? Why there? Well, because there's something up there that links really nicely to what we're going to talk about. And it's just going to round this out and you're going to think, wow, Neil and Sarah are good at this. And then what you might do is give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you haven't even got here before, this is your first time, you might subscribe. So over there, we've got something impressive to show you. Links very nicely to this video. I'm going to take my hat off because I am sweating. People are saying that this hike is pretty easy. Yeah, it's not. For the purposes of this video, let's work on the principle that you want to retire having saved one million US dollars. Why? Because anyone in the fire community, when they start any kind of maths, they say, you're going to retire with a million US dollars. And if you want to know how we calculated what we needed for fire, we can tell you that in a later video. Just let us know in the comments. So one million is a nominal sum we're going to talk about as we go through this motivational aid. You may be sat there thinking, million dollars, I'm a mile from that. Well, what we're going to go through, you might just find, could fire you up a little bit. And million dollars is nominal you might need six hundred thousand us dollars okay so you know you got to get to your own number now what we're going to do is take that million dollars and break it down nominally into 12 equal parts of eighty three thousand three hundred and thirty three us dollars 12 times eighty three 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 is one million no magic it's just numbers I remember what I said about you might only need 600,000. Well, split that into 12 equal parts, that's 50,000. And what you've actually done is found a way to break your fire goal down into 12 equal months. Now we get to the exciting bit. Let's say, at the moment, when you look at your current net worth, you realize, hang on, I've saved 83,333 US dollars. Well, congratulations. You've earned enough to retire in January. Party time is a January party when most people are getting a bit sad because they got through Christmas. You can retire January. You see the way this works? And now what you do, you start working towards your second goal, which is February. You need to save another $83,333. But now the magic is starting to happen. The first month was quite hard work, but once you get that success under your belt, you want to really double your efforts. What can you do to get there a bit quicker? And you'll find ways, maybe cutting back on some of the luxuries and maybe looking at brands you're buying in supermarkets and just stepping down a brand level, that kind of thing, to accelerate your pace. But there's something else that's happening at the same time. The money you've saved is invested. And that money is working for you too. So what you'll find is you'll reach the second month of your fire goal quicker. 
our conversations would be like, well, it's taken us three years to save for January. We want to do February quicker. How are we going to do that? And we sit down and we come up with a plan. Now, part of this motivation is building tools around it that work for you. So what Sarah and I did is in our kitchen, we put a blackboard or a chalkboard, depending where you come from in the world. And on there, we put a chart. And I'm going to draw out what that chart basically looked like for you now. Fun thing about this was anyone that came in the house had no idea what it meant. But to us, it meant the absolute world. So let's quickly draw that chart out now. All we did was put January through to December across the bottom and then drew bars going up to 83333 or whatever the number would be. And then as we go in through month by month, we're just shading it in. The beauty of doing it on a chalkboard is that if the markets are performing badly and although you've saved a load of money that month, you've earned less than you'd hoped, you can just rub out the top and drop it, but then you know what you need to do for the next month. So it's, it's, just, a, it's just a fun way of doing it really. This is a really impressive place. It's the reason why we came all the way up this hike is it's got a great payoff. We want to show it to you now, but I've got your fire dream in my hand here. Walk with me. So, we took you through a motivational aid that changed everything for us, and that was this. So, this is it. And the question for you is, your fire dream, are you gonna let this happen to it? That's not to say we didn't make mistakes along the journey. And if you wanna see those, watch this video next. We really hope you've enjoyed this video. You've been watching To Go Rome. We'll see you next time. Bye.